How's it going everybody? Decisive TV here. We're back for another video on our Let's Play world. Uh, today we're doing a little bit of preparations before we go into the end. Um, right now I'm doing a little side project here uh, off camera. Doing a, or by, I thought I'd show you guys. So uh, we have this hallway here which we were going to turn into our villager hall and then it kind of turned into a, a mine area. Uh, so I think we're just going to utilize the space for like everything that we need basically. So we're probably going to have like storage here. We're probably going to have uh, our, our villagers per usual here. Um, I just think it makes sense to have storage here as well since the villagers give us a lot of a lot of stuff that we need to use. Um, I thought I'd do this before 1.21 comes out and messes all these guys up. So yeah, little boy needs to grow. But apparently it takes them 20 minutes to grow, and I really need to get this episode out for you guys. So I thought I'd start recording now uh, and just show you guys the progress I've made so far. So I brought this guy. It's our Mending Villager. Of course, I had to bring this guy over. I was just going to use it for uh, the Mending Books, but then I was like, maybe I should make a Villager Breeder. So then I can just make a couple of these babies and then uh, put that guy over in his little pod right there. Uh, we're gonna obviously fancy this up whenever we get around to it, but for right now, it's just looking like stone. But yeah, so we have a couple of these little, little, little villager babies here. Uh, so once this guy grows up, I'm gonna go right on this minecart and go into there. So then this villager here, oh, should not be there. Oh, I forgot to put the fence post back. I'm an idiot. Uh-oh. spaghetti -o. Yeah, even I don't have defense on me. Did it? It probably landed down there somewhere and I didn't pick it up. So all we got to do is make a little fence post. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of these for now so I can get in here and put it there. Uh, so this guy up, up here should actually be stuck. So he doesn't want to move makes sense he can't really but now he can and he's gonna get in the hole and stay there yes you are so uh basically the villager uh once they grow up we're gonna ride this minecart go into here hopefully the minecart stays it should stay put i should just be able to break it out from underneath give these guys a little bit of bread which i have on me and then uh they should make baby so yeah, uh, we also need a way to get emeralds, which is what the other villager is going to be used for. And we're going to make a, a farmer villager, I think, because that is probably one of the easiest ways to get emeralds. So, uh, yeah, um, we're going to do that. And then we're probably going to set up like an automatic carrot farm or uh, potato farm or something like that using villagers as well. Uh, you guys are really, really handy. Oh, oh, he's growing up. He done growing up. Oh, oh, yeah, um, yep, yep, that's where you need to be, get in, get in the minecart, nope, 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 no, no, uh oh, that was almost really bad, okay, now we can get rid of these blocks, get up there, yes, all right, no suffocation. All right, so we can just boop, boop. What are you stuck on? On the other. <laughs> okay, so we can press F3 and B, and we can see uh, where this villager can go. Uh, actually, if I put down a carpet, he shouldn't be able to go there, right? So that definitely. Oh, what the heck was that? That was weird. All right, so we can do that. Boom! Two villagers are in. All right, so we just go over here so I can pick that up. Uh, let's cover that just to be safe. Uh, that. And then, obviously, we got to put our protection on it. Boom. And water stream. So, uh... I think that's it. 
So we could just get rid of these blocks now. All the all the rails. Uh, turn off F3B. Okay. So this little dude should be growing up anytime soon. Um, all right, let's go over here. Just get rid of this stuff. Um, oh, I actually, I do want to get up here so I can pass you guys some bread. How much bread did they need? Like eight, right? Hopefully that doesn't fall through. Okay, perfect. Okay, so they should pass that back and forth. Uh, they'll realize that there's beds, there's bread. What else do they need? Nothing. They shouldn't need anything. They should just start making a baby. So, yeah, but uh, once this guy grows up, should be able to capture him with a minecart uh, from this side, I think. I think that will work. Uh, we're going to put him right here. We need a composter. So a composter. What does what a composter even take to make? Oh, just... And boom. Composter. We put the carpet on top so then no baby zombies can hop over or anything like that. Uh, actually, let's take that away for right now because we need to make a railway. That goes up like this, so then they can plop on down, uh, utilizing the minecart. Uh, it was actually really, really easy to get the villagers over here, too, which I was very surprised about. Usually they're a pain, but uh, they've been cooperating quite well. So those villagers, are they making a baby? Could be. Y'all should be in love. Why are you guys, you guys are like nose to nose, man. Come on. Maybe they got to sleep first or something. Set their spawn. I don't even know. Villagers are kind of, kind of weird. Kind of complex creatures. Hi. Here. Take eight more bread. Uh, so once this guy grows up, the hitbox should be big enough that it just plops on over to the minecart, hopefully. Uh, should be growing up soon too, but in the meantime, let's go ahead and actually do what I plan on doing for today's video Not not villager stuff or whatever. Let's go over. We gotta we gotta make some potions We gotta do our like final preparations before we uh We set out on our journey to the stronghold that is like right underneath our base If you guys haven't seen the first few episodes of the series go back and watch those because I, like what are you doing here what are you doing here you're on episode 29 i think that's what episode number we're on you're on episode 29 and you you haven't seen like episode four or whatever okay so uh let's actually let's make a chest real quick so i can put all of our stuff that we're using for the end whenever we get there so slow falling uh, I think we're probably gonna uh, gonna want to go end busting after the fact, right? So definitely need our sword, our pick, our uh, our axe. Um, we need to get a better bow as well. We have no enchants on our bow, so we got to do that before anything. Uh, let's see. Need plenty of building blocks for sure. Okay, there we go. So, luckily, uh, I enchanted a few pieces of our armor here. It's still not completely done, of course, and they're still just basic en enchants. <clears throat> but uh, we at least have a little bit of enchants on our armor. Uh, once we get an end farm going, uh, we'll definitely be cooking. But for right now, we got to use our little zombie spawner that we made back in episode i can't even remember like five or six or something like that so, uh, it, it's been a while uh so i think we're gonna enchant the bow i believe there's power four waiting for me uh which will be really really nice and who knows when maybe we'll get some other stuff on it but uh then we'll enchant our netherite leggings i think and then add aqua affinity to our uh netherite helmet here we also need well it came with protection three we also should probably get feather falling on our boots because that's really going to hurt, but we also have slow falling potions, so might not be too terrible if we get hit by the dragon. Alrighty, so we made it to level 30. Uh, let's go ahead. <clears throat> oh, this has unbreaking. What? Wait, what? Wait, what? Oh, power four on the book. Nah, bow. 
Oh, power four on the bow. Cool. I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, I'm breaking three on the leggings. That actually might be fairly good, even though I think it'll probably just be on breaking three, but we'll, uh, we'll see. We'll see. It's not a whole lot of fun, you know, just chopping away at zombies, having to wait for them. Uh, but once we get this Enderman farm going, you know, that's a lot of fun. Everybody knows how fun an Enderman farm is and how, how easy it is to get XP. I heard a zombie like right around there. Interesting. Uh, but everybody knows how easy it is to get XP from an Enderman farm. Makes enchanting a lot easier, getting good gear. Adding books to uh, all your in already enchanted gear it makes it a whole lot easier with an Enderman farm. <laughs> uh, man, I can't wait to get to the end and do that. Get shulkers. Shulkers are especially important because uh, I have a lot of stuff that I just randomly carry around. I can't wait to make a big old chest monster of all my stuff just lying around randomly. And instead of having chests, I'll have shulker boxes everywhere. Okay, okay, we're back at level 30. We're back at level 30. Let's see what we can cook up. I'm breaking three on the pants or power four, and then we can make power five on the bow. I should go power four so I can get power five on the bow, but at the same time, I'm my gambling side says, <gasps> <clears throat> All right, we won. We freaking did it. All right, sharpness four, and I can make sharpness. Oh, actually, yeah, I, I do need that. I only have sharpness three on my sword. <laughs> uh, also, smite is a lot better uh, than sharpness. I, I would just like to point out. So maybe we maybe we don't do that because I'm not going to have it for very long. I'm about to like disenchant the sword or I'm about to enchant another sword probably. If I can and get smite on it and then say bye bye to this sword. Um... Except that, like, I, I want everything else on it. It has, like, mending and stuff, you know? Ah, I don't know. Because I don't want to make another netherite sword. That would <laughs> that'd be a waste of a netherite ingot. But at the same time, maybe not. Because smite is just too good. All right, so we're going to take the golden apples, of course. Especially the, the notch apple. Because when are we ever going to use that? Except for, like, the wither fight or ender dragon fight. So... We got full thing of netherite armor, enchanted at least a bit, so should be okay. I kind of want to get feather falling on the boots, but it's going to be really hard to get, and it's going to take quite a while. I don't have a lot of time for this video, so yeah, um, might just call that okay. Maybe off camera I'll get, I'll get, uh, uh, feather falling, um, or try to at least. But who knows? I'll probably get bored, to be honest. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's go ahead. Full netherite armor. Uh, we have our tools. Our sword is all right. Um, could get a sharpness four on the sword, I guess. Uh, just because, like, you know, sharpness is good against alive things. And the ender dragon is technically not undead. So... Uh, actually, I want to put Aqua Affinity on the helmet real quick. There we go. Okay. So let's think about this. We have... We have slow falling potions. We have our building blocks. Golden apples. We have sword ready. We have our armor ready. Uh, what else do we need? I guess we need quite a bit of food. And I mean, we have easy access to the end. So if I need to come back for like food or whatever... Uh, then I can really easily, oh, fire resistant potions, I forgot to take into the nether with us whenever we were getting all the ancient debris. Alright, so, here we go, food, thank you chickens, oh, I think the chicken just burned up in there, oh, oh, one thing that I want to make, let's go ahead and put this food in here and sleep real quick, but one thing I really want to make before we go into the end, is we sh should probably make some strength potions, uh, just so we have, like, the extra little oomph, you know? So, I think strength potions are blaze powder, so I think we're gonna make a couple of those. Okay, I think I put the glass bottles all the way on the other side of the river. <laughs> Silly. Silly little me. I'm gonna take down this tree, it's annoying me. 
I just need to do like a deforestation around our area, get rid of a bunch of trees, and then make a bunch of like custom ones or something like that, where I want them. I think that would be really, really cool, actually. I kind of like that tree, though. That tree's nice. All right, uh, let's hopefully I have the things over here. Do I have a chest just filled with a bunch of random crap over here? Anywhere? Whoa! Oh my god! Four? <laughs> There's four! What the heck? Okay, um... So how am I gonna get these guys without letting the babies out? Uh, build the wall. Okay, well, that baby knows where he's gonna be going eventually. Or around about that area. Dude, 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 stop. Stop. Stop breakdancing on your dad's thing. Bro, bro, stop, stop, stop dancing on the bed. Get back in your holes. Man, that is child labor at the finest right there. Stop dancing on the bed. Get back in your hole. All right, so if I put the bed there, are they like going to go crazy for it? Get out. Stop. What are you doing? Go back. No, stop. Stop. I know that's like your parent or something, or at least you think so. No, it's not. It's not actually. All right. So if I do that, nudge this guy in real quick. Uh, let's do that. And then, oh, I don't have the carpet. Dude, where? Keep going. Keep going that way. Yep. Mm -hmm. There you go, buddy. Yep. Hey! smart smart decision okay so i have a but uh, i have a chest filled with a bunch of random stuff that i can't remember where i put it but i'm pretty sure i showed you guys on footage so you're gonna be screaming at me this entire time okay so there's a carpet there we go all that good okay so if i oh. let's go back uh hopefully this farmer is actually like good with his trades because that would suck if i have to give him like 50 carats for one emerald. <laughs> Something crazy like that. Uh, all right. Let's actually, we could check. 26 potatoes. Ooh. That's actually kind of nice. I do like that. You're, you're pretty good. You're pretty good. All right. So if we hit F3B, we can see the hitboxes. No. No. Get back in your hole. Yep. Yep. You're, you're, you're doing, you're doing good, buddy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for getting back in your hole. Atta, baby. All right, so if we go ahead, uh, we could trade up, get some emerald. We need 10 emeralds in order to trade with this guy and get mending books. Uh, I need to put one on my silk touch pick. I didn't realize I didn't have one on it. Or some emeralds, which is great. That's actually like huge. That's huge profit. So we could do the whole zombie thing and everything like that. Uh, but villagers are just kind of overpowered. Also, I should draw, probably just make a raid farm. I mean, I guess I could do the zombie thing anyway. That, that would make for a fun video. Probably not, actually. So uh, maybe we'll just stay away from the, the zombie thing and maybe just make a raid farm. I've never made a raid farm in Minecraft before, so that's going to be really interesting to do. Um, tutorial time it is. Oh, wait. The thing that I was doing before. So uh, I don't know where my glass bottles went. Actually, they might be down here now that I think about it. I did go down to our little farm area down here that we haven't seen in a few episodes and I haven't seen in like two months. So uh, I did a little bit of uh, an extension. I just added one layer. That's all I all the materials that I had for that. So, uh, but this farm is producing like a fair amount. It's not a whole lot, but it, like it's a decent amount for uh, what I needed to do here in our single player world. So that in it, it's just going on whenever I'm around the area, which is awesome. So it, it kind of like, I'll, I don't know. I like playing Minecraft like that. I don't really like a whole lot of AFK stuff, but sometimes uh, for some things you need like, uh, like two AFK. Like there's, 
like if I was to do a raid farm, ain't no way you're gonna be catching me doing a, a raid farm. Oh, I don't have a crafting table on me. Man, I keep on forgetting to pick it up. Yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead, put nether ward in there. So I believe it is blaze rod. I am like 99% sure because that's what Google said. So I'm trust entrusting Google with this. But while this blaze powder is going to go, uh, I'm going to see if we can get another mending book. Okay, so that seems like that's working out. So we also need to make the decision on if I want to make it a strength two potion or just have it be a strength one because the ender dragon does go to like the center of the portal and it kind of flies around there for a little bit, you know? Oh, pumpkin pies. Hmm, tempting actually. Oh, and pumpkins. Oh, maybe we should just make a big long pumpkin line or something like that. Dude, industrial pumpkin farm? Wow, I love seeing the new generation grow. I also need to give those guys more bread probably. Okay, so let's check and see if this actually made strength potions. Oh, it did. So that adds one and a half hearts. To our attack damage so we do five hearts with our netherite sword right now uh but yeah so we do we do five hearts with our sword right now so that would make it six and a half hearts but if we did but if we did strength two that would be eight hearts per because i think it makes it three uh so maybe so if we do strength two, we'll have a lot of very bursts because it only lasts for a minute and a half. Uh, do I actually have any glowstone anywhere? No, I don't. I got to go back and send it another, another if I want that. Um, yeah, I think we should just make strength two potions because the, the ender dragon flies into the center, uh, the center portal, and he stays there for only like 20, 20 seconds or something like that, 10 to 20 seconds or whatever. So, if the Ender Dragon is there, and we have Strength 2 Potion, like, right before it goes all the way down, then we'll get a lot of damage in really quick. Plus, any bow damage, I think, is amplified as well. So, that might that might actually be worth it. Uh, yeah, so let, let's go ahead and make Strength 2 Potions. It's not going to be worth waiting 8 minutes for just Strength 1, uh, I think. Is there any... I mean, I get... Uh, there's not a lot of glowstone that's like very achievable. <laughs> My nether is kind of scuffed a little bit. I mean, I, I really like our nether. I'm not going to lie, but I wish there was more glowstone deposits. All right, so we'll break it with our silk touch pick uh, just so we don't get a bunch of glowstone dust in our inventory because we don't have a lot of holding space. Uh, and then we'll take it back to the overworld and use our fortune three pick on it. So <clears throat> I, I believe that should give us all. Oh, I believe that should give us uh, four per no matter what. If I remember correctly. And I'm going to be picking up, play some blocks and stuff. Maybe I should turn that off. I really. Wow. That blends in really well. Uh. I, I really don't like how the Endermen pick up blocks and everything like that. And like a very wide assortment of blocks now. See, what? Like, I think there was an Enderman in the overworld. We're going to have to go check it out so you guys believe me. But I, I think there was an Enderman in the overworld that placed a grass block on top of a tree around our area. Because <laughs> I saw it once and I was like, uh, that's interesting. Um, also, how do I get back up? What? All right, so let's go ahead and get this. We'll take this out and do that. Oh, three, four, 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 four. Huh. Okay, so it wasn't four every single time. It was three or four. All right, so let's go ahead and make strength two potions. I think that might be the last thing that we need because we got food, we got building blocks, we got uh, slow falling potions. We got our armor enchanted up a little bit more. I'll get feather falling for all my boots later uh, because that's going to take quite a while. Um, and I'm running out of time for this video. <laughs> so, uh, oh, perfect. Nice. It was plus six attack damage. Okay. So uh, we got our sword pretty well enchanted. We're all netherited up. Uh, let's see. What else do we need? We got food, building blocks, potions. 
Okay, uh, so what do we feel like not losing in case if we fall off the edge? Pickaxe, we don't need a shovel. Take the axe, the bow, the food, sword, armor, all that short of shirt. Okay, so I think this is all that we need. Uh, we'll arrange our inventory as such. There we go. So I think this is all that we need. So we got food, we got our necessity tools, armor, water bucket, of course, crafting table per usual. Food, arrows. Uh, I should probably take some more arrows, actually. Do I have any up here? No, I don't. Well, I can just go over to my mob farm and get some. Uh, enchanted golden apple. We got our regular golden apples, slow falling potions, strength potions, building blocks, torches. Yeah, I think that's everything. I think that marks everything off of my list that I can think of, at least my mental list. So, yeah, I think that's going to be it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Next episode. The Ender Dragon. That at least that that is the plan. If something else happens, I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know what would happen. That's all. That's all I got planned. We got to go down into our cave right here, because right below this cave, or right inside this cave, is the stronghold. It, it's right underneath our base, which is very interesting. Um, see how I did that in the the fourth episode or third episode or whichever one it was. You know what? You know what? Just go watch the entire series so far. So. Yeah, anyway, I think that's going to be it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Again, Ender Dragon, the next episode in a couple days, hopefully. Uh, and I will uh, see you all in the next episode. Hopefully you all enjoyed. Remember to hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you're new here. Love seeing all the new faces and everything like that. Come into the comment section and everything. Uh, anyway, goodbye. Thank you. Bye-bye.